Hello there, my beautiful Aries. Welcome back to another reading. It's Love Lorena here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I post monthly readings asking our guardian angel, our spirit guides, and the archangels for guidance each and every month, Aries. So if this sounds like something that can be helpful for you, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. We would love to have your energy with us, Aries. And I'm actually doing something new for the month of April. I am doing free readings. I will choose one person at random at the end of each of your readings, Aries. So if you would like a chance to be chosen, go ahead and like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your name down below in the comments section. And I will make sure to put you into my drawing and good luck. I hope you are chosen for our reading. Okay, Aries? And you can look for that at the end of next week's reading. Okay? So, Aries, let's go ahead and get started. If you're already a subscriber, you already know we start each reading with a short meditation. I will sing and play my ukulele just so we can truly open our hearts to receive these messages from our angels. So Aries, feel free to look here at our candle, our selenite, or just close your eyes and feel this love. to receive our messages from the angels for you. Let's see what the angels want you to know. My guardian angel, Aries guardian angel, spirit guides, and archangels. Ooh! <laughs> our angels are quick today. We have counselor and outdoors. Thank you angels for these messages. Look, we will take a closer look into these cards. Let's ask for a card for mystical wisdom. What does Aries need to know during this time, my angels? What does Aries need to know during this time, my angels? What does Aries need to know, my angels? Provide us one message for Aries. Okay, three wanted to come out, so let's let them come out. Vacation, raise your standards, the peacock, celebration. Okay, wow. Okay, let's ask for a message from Angel Guide Oracle. What does Aries need to know? Trust the universe. Wow, you are attracting good things at this time, Aries. Like, amazing things are coming. I can see it. We have celebration and trusting the universe. 
one message, one more from Angel Guide. Romance and connection. Okay, so this is a sign that if you're wondering about this connection, it's real, Aries. Or it's going to happen, whether this is a business or relationship. Epiphany. Okay. So let's take a closer look at each of these cards, my beautiful Aries. Let's see what our angels want you to remember and to know. We have Counselor, Archangel, Ra Archangel Azriel. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So Aries, this is saying that you have these healing abilities. You see this being right here placing his or her arms over her shoulders. This is you. This is how you make people feel without needing to say any words. You're present. You're there, Aries. You provide this healing to people by just being there, okay? This isn't necessarily that you have the right words to say all the time, but this is saying this is your energy that the angels see in you and that they want you to remember. The universe wants you to remember this divine light within you, Aries. You're a natural counselor and don't forget this divine power that you have within you. I know sometimes we forget our special qualities and, and that's why I also like to do videos like these because I want you to feel re-inspired, Aries. And a way to feel re-inspired is by, look, going outdoors. So maybe you've had a lot on your mind, Aries, because Archangel Jophiel says, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to, to relieve stress, to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot going on, Aries, a lot of stress, a lot of worry, and you might not know this, or maybe you already know this, but when you go out into nature, it makes you feel better because you are one. You are you remember where you truly come from, okay? Instead of being stuck within four walls all day, every day, Aries. So truly make time to do things that you enjoy. Go out in nature so that you can truly feel like you're starting fresh, okay? Sometimes I have a lot going on in my mind, but when I just dedicate time to just go take some fresh breaths outside. I know there's a lot of pollen right now, so <laughs> just go out, wear a mask if you need to, but it does make you feel better. When I come back inside, I feel like I have a renewed inspiration, okay, Aries? But look, I want you to know that, look, we got these from our Mystical Wisdom deck. We have Peacock, Raise Your Standard. So this might be in your love life or in your career. Look, we have two peacocks here. Looks like they really care about each other, this beautiful connection. Look, I want you to, if you are not already following your heart, whether this is within your job or your love life, please start doing so. Raise your standards and know what you're worthy of, okay? Know that you deserve deep love and respect, this beautiful connection. If you need to let go of toxic energies, let them go because you are going to attract things that you deserve in your life, Aries, okay? Whatever this is, raise your standards, okay? This might be different for each and every one of you. And I know that you've been going through a lot, Aries, but we have here celebration, let go and have fun and vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. So yeah, again with the outdoors, we have a lot of outdoors here, a lot of nature. We have going out and celebrating. You're attracting these beautiful things. Aries, look, maybe it's because it's the beginning of spring. We have all of these cards that are connected to one another about going out. You deserve this time for you. Go out, th go out and do things that you enjoy, okay? There might be something beautiful coming that you were waiting for that, or that you weren't expecting, okay? Because we have a celebration here. Just let go right now. It's time to open your heart and be like a child again, Aries. Remember to live like a child, just present and enjoying life so you can attract this abundance and 
it's time to do things for you at this time okay and if you have any concerns about your love life or career look we have trust the universe trust that the universe is sending you the things that you need aries and please Trust in yourself, think positive, and know that you can attract the abundance that you're wishing for. You just have to believe that you are already receiving it, okay? Trust in the universe, and the universe will provide things at the right time for you, Aries. We do have a celebration here, the month of April, and we have romance and connection. So yeah, like it's either you've already met this person, Aries, you have a deep bond, a deep soulmate connection. This might be a twin flame. Like there's something deep here. This beautiful bond, the angels, the universe have brought you together. This beautiful energy. Maybe this is a connection, not necessarily an intimate connection, but with somebody, you are already in this relationship or you are creating it. It's coming towards you. Maybe that's the celebration that's coming here because we have this beautiful card. So truly have faith in the universe that it's providing what you need and the right people at the right time okay aries look we have epiphany archangel azriel joy through spiritual growth be a light to others answer answers that come through meditation yeah so yeah like just like we saw here that you're a true counselor and a true healer aries i want you to remember that through meditation you can find these answers of your true divine light what others see in you and the things that are coming into your life this inspiration you can find by going within aries beautiful things coming for you for the month of april i hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did please don't hesitate to like and subscribe and i will see you for our next week's reading thank you aries